Hey, we're gonna talk about bottled and bond. Like uh, hello, I'm Bond. No, nope. James Bond. Not that Bond. Oh, a different Bond. Different Bond. You know, when you go in the liquor store and you see on these bottles it says bottled and Bond. What the right. heck does that mean? Or basically, should you be paying a premium for saying bottled and Bond? So today we're gonna talk about what bottled and Bond is, and we may even do a little bit of comparison of it to a bottled and Bond whiskey and one that's not. Yeah. In the meantime, we'll see you guys here in just a minute. So. Hold my whiskey. Hold my whiskey. So Jeffrey. Yeah. I was thinking, I'm gonna make some whiskey and I'm gonna make it unique to myself. Oh really, how are you gonna do that? I'm gonna spit in it. I'm gonna put some toilet water in it. Or better yet, I'm gonna diffuse it using my lint dryer. Oh. Well, then you would be what we call a rectifier. Oh, well, tell me about this. A rectifier was somebody who would go and buy a barrel of whiskey, and then they would go and bottle it themselves, but then they might add a few things to it. And make it their own? Their own. So they might add, I don't know, maybe tobacco. Or turpentine. Or something that's really bad for you. Yeah, so like turpentine. Decent <laughs> producers of whiskey back in the 1800s finally got fed up with that, because yeah. they're making good quality whiskey, and these rectifiers are going up the works. Yeah. So they asked the government to create something to protect that, and that was the Bottle and Bond Act of 1897. And that's why we have a plethora of bottled and bond. So the Bottle and Bond Act was created to say to you that these were watched over, they were cared for, and there's no weird funky inside of this bottle. Funky in this bottle. <laughs> So what is a bottle and bond? What's it really mean? So it means for sure that it was made from one distillery at one specific distilled location. So I couldn't take my barrel over here I procured and come over here and say, hey, this is mine. Not at all. And it had to be made in the exact same season. So either from January to June or July to December. That's correct. And when it was said and done, it had to be this proof it had to be a hundred proof. Yeah. It had to be in the barrel for four years. Guaranteed. At a minimum, minimum. At a minimum. It had to be a hundred. And a U.S. government official actually inspected and ensured that those things occurred correctly. And then also on a side note, as a benefit to having a bottled and bond, the company didn't have to pay taxes on the whiskey until, until they was, until they bottled it until they, it was going out the door yeah so before that you would have to, anything that you even put in a barrel you were paying a tax on but with bottled and bond you're saying we're not touching this for four years no matter what so we're not paying taxes on it until we actually bottle it so we're so saying deferring you get a tax debt. deferment which you know the u.s government you know that's a pretty nice little thing to give now yeah. you can see why the u.s government wouldn't want to do that for every bottle because yeah. sometimes when you know age statement whiskeys, you don't, the government's not gonna wait 20 years to get paid. <laughs> yeah, right. so, hey I mean, man, my entire income is aged, it's aged, uh, you, know, uh, you know. So what that told to us, the, the, the consumer was, it was a safe whiskey to drink, there's nothing weird going on in it. The only thing added to it would be water and it had to be pure water. Yeah. Couldn't be anything else. Yeah. Um, so it was something that was of quality. So as us as a consumer though, I mean, is this something that I should really, even today, be paying a premium for? I, I, I think so. I mean, there's a little bit more effort that goes in for the distillery to produce it. And I, we're gonna find out today. We're gonna do tests just that. We're gonna see if there's a big difference between a bottled and bond and just a regular whiskey. So we're gonna take two whiskeys from the same distiller. Okay. And we're gonna compare that bottle and bond to that whiskey of the same distiller and see if there really is a big difference. Yeah, because I mean, if there's a lot of hoopla, you hope that it is something that is tangible. I think so. I mean, the, the one thing for sure is, I think the way whiskey distilleries look at this is they're providing you something that's a little bit higher quality yeah. than their entry level in the door whiskey that normally is blended. So they're gonna, you know as well as I do, that when they go and make regular yeah. whiskey, they're pulling it barrels from this this place and barrels from this place, ages of eight year here, ages of two year here. You know, it's all over the place. Right. That's Whereas right. this bottle and bond is straight up four years, same place, same season, same everything. Yeah, and without naming names, you know, I just bought a particular bottle of whiskey that's $65, okay. right? Right. Uh, it is aged whiskey, but you know, blah, blah, blah. It's bottled and bond version of that whiskey is $100. It's just a little bit more, right? Yeah, I mean, you're talking a big 
difference. So there's got to be. There's got to be. It can't be just a fad. There is a big difference. I mean, do you know the, uh, I can't remember the, maybe you guys can remember this, the, the entity that rates and grades whiskey every year and gives them awards for the best whiskey of the year. It was not just about a year or so ago that uh, Dickel came out with their bottled and bond. It was a 35 year old lady who was a, became their master distiller and it was her first year. That's actually So cool. she created this new Bal Bal and Bond uh, for Dickel. It was rated one of the best whiskeys of the year. And so clearly this bottle and bond thing is legit. That's interesting because you know, I don't really enjoy Dickel that much. I know, but this one just blew up everybody. Huh. It. So, so let's find out. So what we also, another way you can see and recognize bottle and bond, other than on the bottle, it'll say bottled in bond and it also usually says under u.s government supervision so what that means is the government came in and inspected and made sure they followed all the rules right you also will find a green stamp on the bottles and that stamp used to be important that stamp used to signify that the government approved every one of those and that's a yeah. tax stamp and if somebody put one of those stamps on there and they were illegally placed on there they got fined a thousand dollars per bottle well, that's uh, incentive not to do that. In 1897, that would have been $25,000 per bottle. <laughs> so it was a big deal. So nowadays they put these stamps on there. They're not, the stamp part kind of got, went away in the 80s, but they still, producers put them on there because people look for those. Because a lot of the old guys yeah. used to walk in a liquor store looking for bottled and bond. They're looking for that green stamp. It, yeah, it, marketing ploy never hurts anything. So you'll notice they'll use the green, like on you know, the Melicorn, they use the green on the Evan Williams, they use the green here on the Henry McKenna. That seems to be a continued thing that they carry on, even though they don't have to really do that. Uh, so, what I thought we would do today is we would take this Henry McKenna bottle and bond. Bottle and bond okay. Uh, it usually runs around $40 for this bottle and bond. If you can find it, if I remember right, this is a pretty hard to find yeah, bottle. Yeah, it's currently hard to find. We're gonna crack this baby open today. And then I've also got a Henry McKenna bourbon that is from the same distillery, but it's not a bottle and bond. And it normally runs around $10 a bottle. Oh boy. So that's a huge jump from $10 to $40. So let's find out if there's really a difference. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let me grab that bottle. Now we have a Henry McKenna bottle and bond and a Henry McKenna just straight up bourbon. Straight <laughs> yeah, out of the, just straight like up. I said, it was like, I think it was like eight, nine, ten bucks at the liquor store. This is always at least forty dollars. Sometimes I've seen this upwards to what forty five, fifty. That's the exact same price range difference that we're talking about. I was saying earlier with the exactly more pricey right. stuff too. So today we're gonna find out if there is really something to this or not. All right. So let's crack these open. Right. You crack that one open, I'll crack this one open. You crack that one open faster than I crack this one open. I know what I'm saying. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a good cracking. Damn, how they even crack this one open. So was that a twist top? This is a twist top. I figured as much. All right. Now, to be fair, we've had Henry McKenna as yeah, far as yes, bottle we, and bond. We've had it. Okay, so this is, ooh. <laughs> You're cheating. I just smelled it. It just, just kind of came over me, so I had to sniff it a little bit. He snuffed it. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. All right, so let's let's just smell them. So this is the uh, this Henry McKenna. Is, this is Henry right? McKenna. Well, that's pretty flat, right? Yeah, I mean it's. Now, when we talk about budget bourbons, this yeah. is definitely a budget bourbon, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eight yeah, nine. It's a, hey, if you don't have budget for that, right, why now. do you have a YouTube? Now let's let's smell the. This is the Henry McKenna bottled and bond. Oh. There's a big difference, yeah, right? There's a difference. Okay, now let's compare the two. Hold them both up and smell them. Hold them together. So on nose, big difference, right? Yeah, complication. So no, is this just psychological or are we really, is it really a difference? No, it's a difference. This one you're already starting to pull fruits and smells like that out of. Now, do you notice that as you do that, the other one's trying yeah, to open up? It smells up. a little better. It though. opens up, dang yeah, it. Does. <laughs> oh, so it opens up a little bit, it opens up a little bit. Jiminy Christmas. Oh shit. Okay, so Damn. it does open up a little bit. It does feel, smell a little cheaper though. Okay, yeah. let's, let's drink the straight up just Henry McKenna. Okay, let's okay. just try it for a second. I mean, that's not bad. 
it's actually not bad. That's not really bad at all, right? No, it's not bad. A little oaky, a little uh, not real sp hot. No, it's now, I suspect that the 100 proof is going to be spicier. Well, I mean, yeah, it's proof. it has to be. This is 80 proof, so clearly, yeah, this is 40%, so it's 40 ABV, so honestly, this is going to be a little spicier, but this isn't bad, right, no, for $9? No, no, no. It tastes better than it smells. Yeah, no, 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 it, it's... <laughs> 10 bucks, man, that's not bad. Now, let's, let's try the bottle and bond version. Much spicier. Obviously, we knew that was coming, but there's a lot more going on in there. Oh, yeah, there's a lot more going on. So this is somewhat oaky. So the the Henry McKenna, this one here, slightly oaky. The the Henry McKenna bottle and bond. Woo! I feel like I just drank forest. Yeah, no. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I, I'm picking up a whole lot more flavor palette from this one. Yeah, this, you can definitely tell that the there's a much stronger boldness going on here mm -hmm. with this, where this is a little more flatter on the end. This is still hanging out with me right now. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's a it's a huge difference. I mean, uh, the thing that'd be interesting to know is is why what flattens this one? What is it? Is it because it's from the 10 proof? different barrels all mixed together? Who I knows? think it has to do, I think it would have to do with the blend, right? So however it's blended, it, this is not the same, you know. Cause like, no offense to like Jack Daniels, but that's how they, Jack Daniels always tastes the same. Yeah, because their master distiller knows what blends it takes to make it taste to, the same. To, and, and this is like, almost like what it was, it their single barrel type idea. Sure. It, it's like, that's how you, you know, create a, a singular palette that's gonna have, who knows, a whole lot more spice to it on this occasion, or a whole lot more fruit to this occasion. Yeah. Whereas it's always consistent when you mix them, for the most part, you, you level I mean, them out. Let me ask you this, do you feel like you know that this is a better quality than this because you know it's bottle and bond? Are you saying, are we saying now that because we see the words bottle and bond, we're just automatically thinking it's gonna be better or are we really tasting better? No, I, <laughs> I'm tasting, I feel like as being honest, I feel like you're tasting a better whiskey with this bottle yeah. and bond. Yeah. Uh, it's not that this is bad. That's not what I'm getting at. It's just that when I say better, I should say there's just more this going is on. more special. Yeah, there's more going on in that bottle. Uh, there's definitely a lot more uh, oak notes, fruit notes, caramel notes, sweet mm -hmm. notes. Not as the notes in this one. Some of those notes exist, I think, in this one as well. They're just not as strong. It's like somebody watered this down, not just by proofing it, but they watered, watered it, down it down in all flavor all the way around. It's watered down. You can tell compared this has been in the barrel for four years. Now look at this. I mean, you compare the two, it might be hard for you to see here, but this one is slightly lighter than the bottle and bottle. So I think that's going on well too. So if you look at the two in the glass, you can really kind of see it. It is much lighter. The Henry McKenna is much lighter than the bottle and bond. So, being in the barrel longer, coming from the same season, same distillery, all that does make a difference. So the, the Henry McKenna 10 year, you know, a bottle and bond, that goes into my collection. Yeah, the Henry McKenna $9. I, uh, that that, I goes, pass over that, that goes to the family for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. But this is not bad. I mean, this is not. No, this isn't bad. It, it's. Both products are a quality product. Yeah. And, you know, McKenna, they produce a nice quality product out of there. Heaven's Hill. These are Heaven's Hills products. So these are both Heaven's Hill products. And Heaven's Hill usually puts really good whiskey together. So. Yeah, I think it's good. I, but I do say definitively that between these two. The bottle and bond is superior. Yeah, it's better. So what do you think? Do you find that bottle and bond is better? The question is, in this case, is it $30 better? In this case, I'd say it is thirty dollars better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would too. But it depends on how you want to spend your thirty bucks. Yeah, you know? I know. I mean, so you know, let us know. Have you done some comparison with your bottle and bonds and your regular whiskeys? Um, let us know what you found. Uh, if you're interested in trying this, you know, you can go buy this. Both of these are usually available at the liquor store. I do know Henry McKenna bottle and bond is slightly becoming the unicorn whiskey. It's one, it's starting to become. But we do have a couple of stores in our area that usually always have it in stock. So, but if you can get your hands on both of them, yeah, do your own comparison. Let us know what you think. And uh, if you don't let us know what you think, 
we won't know what you think. <laughs> in the mean, <laughs> in the meantime, hey, thanks for just hanging out with us this week, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week when we do another Hold My Whiskey. And cheers. Yeah, I'm making sure I hold up the right one. <laughs> yeah, well, this oh. is just standard right. mechanic. Standard mechanic. Standard mechanic. So yeah, cheers, guys. Let's go that way, Frank. Yeah. <laughs>